Sisek came across very filthy. He smelled like the soiled breeches of a street bump, and looked about as much. We met briefly before the debate. We greeted and shook hands. But when I turned away, he struck with the speed of a viper and stuck his moistened finger between my glutes. What was that? I asked. He just kept drooling. Was this the intellectual prison camp of the new Marxists? I felt I had to buckle up and put my big boy frog hat on. And I instinctively crossed my legs for the rest of the encounter. I had to stick wads of paper tissue up my nose to combat the stench of my opponent. I think he had eaten raw garlic and pickled eggs as a scare tactic. Shishek was an easy meal. He was a buzzing fly over my pond, and I had the sticky tongue. This was the story of Cain and Abel Manifest. We were both doctors, as it were. But I felt like a heroic plague doctor. Out of place in the postmodern horde of ideologues, providing the best known cures and care to an ill society. During my lectures, I like to speak directly to members of the audience. As I focus from one person to another, I imagine each of them is Joe Rogan. Joe is a nice man, and very muscular. He has a lingering scent of coffee and exotic herb. Nothing like the beast, Sushek. This is the thirteenth rule. Always, always keep a clean pair of underwear in a sealed bag. This is a good place to stop. My mind is getting fuzzy.